When treating a two millimeter lesion, every pixel of what I'm treating matters. At the PMC Lawson Cancer Center, our TrueBeam Linear Accelerator allows even the smallest areas to be precisely targeted. Our purpose is saving lives. This coming election day, Pike County voters will have the opportunity to cast their vote at the historic Hatfield and McCoy Hog Trial Cabin. Located in McCarr, Kentucky, the cabin has not been used as a voting site since 1882. Mountaintop News spoke with District 3 Commissioner Brian Booth to learn more. You know, there's a lot of history with this cabin by it being used as a hog trial cabin for the Hatfield McCoys, all Hatfield McCoy feud history here. So actually, this, if you're a history buff, this would be a place for you to come to and vote because you take for over 140 years since someone has been able to vote at this site. I think it's great. It's great for the tourism of Pike County and anybody that loves the Hatfield McCoy history to me would drive this far just to get to vote in this cabin where the last time that somebody voted here was approximately 140 years ago. While the cabin has seen some restoration work over the years, the spirit and history of the Appalachian feud has been preserved. Voters will not only be making their voice heard, but experiencing part of their rich ancestry. And we had to do a little bit of work to get it in compliance, uh, to be able to use it nowadays as a voting place. So we, the county invested some money to have this fixed up a little bit to where people can come in and vote here. To, so we was in compliance with the state law and everything. You know, uh, 140 years ago, uh, people stood outside here and when they asked who they voted for, they would raise their hand and they would count the votes. And you know, the, you know then who voted for you. Nowadays, you know, you, it's by ballot how you get voted for. So I think that's a big difference from, from what I can understand from 140 years ago till now. I think it's great people come out here on November the 8th and vote because uh, it's a lot of history. I think a lot of people, it, it draw a lot of attention uh, and people when they come through the area, they want to stop by here and see that, hey, after 140 years, we've been able to vote here again. And so I think it'll bring tourism back to Pike County. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.